Why conduct experiments? To explore new technologies, new crops, and new areas of production. To develop a basic understanding of the factors that control production. To develop new technologies that are superior to existing technologies. To study the effect of changes in the factors of production and to identify optimal levels. To demonstrate new knowledge to growers and get feedback from end users about the acceptability of new technologies. What is a designed experiment? Treatments are imposed, manipulated, by investigator using standard protocols. May infer that the response was due to the treatments. Potential pitfalls. As we artificially manipulate nature, results may not generalize to real-life situations. As we increase the spatial and temporal scale of experiments, to make them more realistic, it becomes more difficult to adhere to principles of good experimental design. What is an observational study? Treatments are defined on the basis of existing groups or circumstances. Uses Early stages of study, developing hypotheses. Scale of study is too large to artificially apply treatments, for example, ecosystems. Application of treatments of interest is not ethical. May determine associations between treatments and responses, but cannot assume that there is a cause and effect relationship between them. Testing predictions in new settings may further support our model, but inference will never be as strong as for a designed, manipulative, experiment. Some types of field experiments oriented toward applied research. Agronomy trials. Fertilizer studies. Time, rate and density of planting. Tillage studies. Factors are often interactive so it is good to include combinations of multiple levels of two or more factors. Plot size is larger due to machinery and border effects. Integrated pest management. Weeds, diseases, insects, nematodes, slugs. Complex interactions between pests and host plants. Mobility and short generation time of pests often create challenges in measuring treatment response. Plant breeding trials. Often include a large number of treatments, genotypes. Initial assessments may be subjective or qualitative using small plots. Replicated yield trials with check varieties including a long-term check to measure progress. Pasture experiments. Initially you can use clipping to simulate grazing. Ultimately, response measured by grazing animals so plots must be large. The pasture, not the animal, is the experimental unit. Experiments with perennial crops. Same crop on same plot for two or more years. Effects of treatments may accumulate. Treatments cannot be randomly assigned each year so it is not possible to use years as a replication. Large plots will permit the introduction of new treatments. Intercropping experiments. Two or more crops are grown together for a significant part of the growing season to increase total yield and or yield stability. Treatments must include crops by themselves as well as several intercrop combinations. Several ratios and planting configurations are used so number of treatments may be large. Must be conducted for several years to assess stability of system. Rotation experiments. Determine effects of cropping sequence on target crop, pest or pathogen, or environmental quality. Treatments are applied over multiple cropping seasons or years, but impact is determined in the final season. Farming systems research. To move new agricultural technologies to the farm. A number of farms in the target area are identified. Often two large plots are laid out, old versus new. Should be located close enough for side-by-side -side comparisons. May include, best bet, combinations of several new technologies. Recent emphasis on farmer participation in both development and assessment of new technologies.